And joining me to discuss this is a global affairs analyst, Deba Wade, who joins me on the news to discuss takeaways from the Joe Biden's town hall meeting in Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, looking at the town hall meeting, I'm sure you followed the proceedings uh, that happened overnight now. What came to mind, especially when he talked about the stimulus package, the COVID-19 pandemic, 600 million vaccines that is pledged by the end of July? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, yesterday was uh, more of uh, assurance and giving hope to Americans. Uh, people had looked forward to, you know, uh, a kind of uh, environment like that where the president will be able to uh, talk to American people, especially uh, now that we are done with uh, the proceedings at the uh, Capitol, you know, last week. And so uh, yesterday was more of, uh, you know, assurance and also uh, giving hope to Americans that, yes, uh, we are still uh, in this uh, pandemic uh, situation, and uh, this is what we hope to do. This is what uh, we, we plan that uh, uh, we, we happen and also the expectations. And um, like he promised in the uh, taking care, you know, through using the vaccines, uh, things are going on very fast. Uh, fortunately, uh, others like Johnson and Johnson have joined. And so uh, he has promised that by the end of May, we have uh, over 400 million, you know, va vaccines, yeah. uh, doses of vaccines, and uh, by the end of July, 600 million, which means that uh, uh, a lot of Americans uh, would have been mm. vaccinated by then. And um, like I said, it's more of uh, assurance, more of hope, and also uh, he also promised that this time is going to be uh, more of Americans and not himself as uh, president. Okay, so looking at the number, 600 million doses uh, by the end of July, many see this as a hard deadline on vaccination. How do you think he's going to achieve this? Well, uh, proud to him coming in, almost a million per day, you know. Mm. Uh, he's not been able to achieve that, though, a million per day. Like I said, almost a million before he came in, you know, to be... To be fair to the past administration almost a million and so now that he came in and with uh, johnson and johnson joining and pfizer and others uh, modica um improving and uh, increasing what they are giving it, it's it's possible that that number can be can be met as long as the government continue to uh, encourage the manufacturers give pay them you know as such when due and um I believe that would be that would be like when he said uh, in 100 days he would make one million doses, you know, during his uh, uh, speech, inauguration speech. Mm. The fact that he's been, he would be having one one million uh, one million every day mm -hmm. even before he came in, which means when he as he came in. It should be able to increase it, you know, from one million to probably two million with uh, support from, like I said, Johnson and Johnson uh, joined before before it came in. Johnson and Johnson didn't join, so now it All should right. be it should be able to see that that number is met, so that uh, more Americans can be vaccinated and the country can be ready to move forward. So, looking at the town hall meeting, and what would you say? differentiates Joe Biden from his predecessor, Donald Trump? Oh, honestly, it, it was a, a very um, a very appealing and encouraging moment to watch, mm. especially Americans. We've, um, uh, in the last four years, everybody knows what, you know, has been happening. Um, People, people, you wake up before you sleep. You have to check your Twitter. Mm -hmm. You know, you wake up in the morning. You have to check your Twitter. You are at work. You have to check your Twitter. Um, but we are we are seeing uh, somebody that is going to calm down all those, and also uh, somebody that is ready to listen. You know, 
and is somebody that is ready to um, interact with the people, uh, listen to the people, and uh, take some, you know, some blows. You know, we we had we didn't have it in the last four years, mm -hmm. and and so that was what we saw. We saw somebody that we show compassion to to people. Imagine uh, the way uh, he answered the the woman with the eight years old daughter, you know, concerning this, uh, you know, vaccination. You, okay. you, you will see a president that is relating with, with people, a president that is listening, a president that is compassionate, you know, and that is what we hope uh, we continue throughout uh, his tenure so that uh, America can can have that confidence again, you know, uh, and also people can look at America uh, you know, as that uh, passion of uh, hope that it's used. Okay, so looking at America in the image of um, the world right now, I will read something online from what Joe Biden uh, said. He, looking at um, the white supremacist and far-right extremists, he called it the bane on our existence and dangerous and demented. I'd like you to uh, make a statement on that. Yeah, um, actually, it's uh, something that has, you know, uh, been there. You know, it's, it's just that um, uh, before it was not in the forefront. It was not... Uh, pronounced you know we have individuals that uh, want to uh, misbehave want to uh, feel that because they are in the majority they have that uh, uh, supremacy if I, if I use that word mm. and so uh, it has always been there you know but the last four years you know brought it to prominence mm. and um, it is now uh, left for this government to ensure that it is curtailed you know I won't say uh, eliminated that it is curtailed and controlled um, let's hope that the FBI with all the investigation that you know uh, they've been doing since um, January 6 they will continue and cases that have been taken to court you know, concerning uh, the activities of those that attacked uh, the Capitol Hill, uh, we will be, you know, treated fairly, mm -hmm. and uh, that we sound a very serious uh, warning to people who still have that, you know, uh, intention of coming out to cause chaos based on the fact that they feel uh, mm. that uh, white supremacy should mm. should dominate. Uh, by the time cases, the, the court starts um, uh, giving judgment and sending people to jail, All right. and people okay. getting as much as, you know, five to ten years, mm. uh, I think uh, people will learn from it. Because right now, those that are in court, Honestly, they are on their own, you know. I, I don't see a uh, former president, All right. you know, bringing money to support them, to provide them, uh, lawyers for them, to pay for lawyers. And so uh, people would have learned because it has never happened in such uh, mm, a grand yeah. scale. To have, All right, Diva, have... we have to go, I'm afraid, at this point uh, for our time constraint. Well, thank you so much for talking to us on this and giving us your own uh, uh, suggestions on uh, the matter. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.